Hello everyone. So this evening we stay pretty calm. Tomorrow we stay pretty calm, but Sunday is where things change. Rain throughout the day. So we get towards the evening that rain towards towards snow in some places. We even have the possibility of some minor flooding. Now, just about all of us are going to get the rain and it's going to be pretty consistent. We do have some wind gusts that are going to follow through, especially as we get towards the later part of Sunday and into Monday. And that combined with colder air is going to make it feel cold for Monday. Snow is coming into the highlands and NRV mostly, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. And then the flooding risk is rather low. Well, let's go through as much as we can right now. Like I was saying earlier, the wind speeds are kind of forming up towards the west. If we go ahead and switch this back over towards the national radar, you can see there's a little bit of shower activity out there, but there's not a ton that's developed yet. Right now, most of that in Kentucky and Tennessee is kind of scattered. There's one little storm cell on the Oklahoma, Arkansas border, but nothing's really organized yet. Now, if you've got some pictures of the calm weather tomorrow or the rain that's coming in, go to WSLS.com slash pins. This one from Illuminize is really cool and we would love to see yours as we keep going through. Now, as we get towards 7 p.m. on Saturday, the cold front starts to organize that line of rain a little bit better. For us, that's going to start to bring some showers. Looks like a lot of the heavier rain is going to stay a little bit towards our south, but we get some heavy rain amounts as we get towards Sunday morning. That moves further off towards the east and we see the heavier consistent rain as we get into the afternoon. This is still moving around a little bit, so kind of keeping an eye on it, but this looks to be what we're going Going with right this minute and then with the colder air meeting that moisture later in the day that's going to turn into some more consistent snowfall as we get into the evening. Some of that can track further towards the east, but it looks like the actual snow that sticks around is going to be taken care of pretty early. Now our temperatures are actually going to hit their highs pretty early in the day around noon. And we really start to cool down as that cold front comes through, brings temperatures down into the 40s for the afternoon and towards midnight. And we're in the 30s that night will be even cooler after that. Storm chances today are well off towards the west and even tomorrow they stay pretty well down towards our south and west. As we get towards Sunday, it looks like parts of south side are clipped by the level one risk, so not a major concern for severe storms, but I would expect some rumbles of thunder. As far as flood potential goes, today is looking fine. Tomorrow is a little bit of a different story. Level one risk that extends up into Kentucky and Tennessee, but kind of stays out of our region. We're included in the level one risk on Sunday, but it looks like there's more rain towards the Chesapeake Bay and especially up into New England where they've got the level two risk. Most of our spots are getting one to two inches of rain. NRV and Roanoke getting about or closer to that two inch mark and then staying a little bit lighter as you get towards Lynchburg and Southside. Now with data that was coming in earlier on, Southside was looking like it was going to be rainier. I still think Southside is going to end up getting a little bit more, but that's the most recent data run that we've got that will continue to be updated over the next few days. As far as snow, goes the highest accumulations are looking to be on those western slopes like you probably have expected with that last system we had coming through that's the only place where we had some actually building up as you get further and further towards the east it really drops off we got up into the 60s today so it's not exactly cold out there there's not a whole lot of cold in the ground yet so it's hard for that snow to really stick around don't think it's going to accumulate a whole lunch but we could get up towards one two three tenths of an inch over the late sunday into monday pulaski's at 38 tonight and is at 30 and then we warm up pretty nicely for Saturday. If you have to get out at all, that's the day to do it. Roanoke's at 63. We cool back down a little bit on Sunday. Most of our temperature is still in the 60s there, but early. And then we keep on cooling through that night. We end up in the 30s that night. Monday can only get to the 40s because of the cold air coming in. We're in the 20s, but then we improve towards average and stay dry. Like I was saying, we got up towards 64 degrees, which means we added another $100 on for today at 330 for the month so far.